gone from blind justice to Biden justice here in America as a double standard for justice under the law continues to emerge. Got allegations and accusations against President Trump flowing freely night after night on the cable news. Meanwhile, the media continuing to ignore what is now a staggering collection of corruption allegations against the entire Biden family. They have circled the wagons in an effort to protect Joseph Robinette Biden's flailing presidency. And guess what? It's actually working. A new poll came out from the Media Research Center showing that people who rely on CNN and MSNBC are significantly less informed on key issues. With fewer than 50 percent of viewers able to identify critical issues from the tonnage of issues facing Hunter Biden to the historic collapse we are witnessing in real time on the southern border. But then again, when every sentence you hear on the evening news has a verb, a noun, and the phrase, Trump is a threat to our democracy, well, what else can you expect? I happen to believe Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. Trump's threat to democracy, I've seen it happen over and over, and there's a pattern. Donald Trump is a threat to democracy and should be prosecuted. Wow, threat to democracy. While the fake news buries its head in the sand to protect Joe Biden and keep America clueless of his corruption, the GOP continues to bring forth the receipts and strengthen the evidence. So far, the House Oversight Committee has revealed that the Bidens received millions of dollars from overseas business dealings, including a potential $3 million from China, $1 million from Romania, and allegedly $10 million from... Ukraine. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer calling the Biden bribery scheme, quote, organized crime. Comer says evidence shows the Bidens have received upwards of $40 million in exchange for favorable policy decisions. And four of those of those six decisions were made early on in Joe Biden's presidency. And yet no one, no one on the left seems to be taking this seriously, even when two credible whistleblowers from the IRS come forward, claiming that the Department of Injustice hampered the entire investigation into Hunter and the big guy, Joe Biden. There were certain investigative steps that we weren't allowed to take that could have led us to President Biden. If this was any other person, they likely would have already served their sentence. And that same whistleblower, Gary Shapley, told the House Ways and Means Committee in May that Delaware U.S. Attorney David Weiss sought to bring federal charges against Hunter, but he was denied by two Biden-appointed U.S. attorneys. Shapley also told the panel that Weiss sought to be appointed a special counsel in the case at least twice, but, but again, he was denied by guess who? The Injustice Department, all of which directly contradicts what the head of the DOJ, Attorney General Merrick Garland, promised about the investigation earlier this year. This attorney in Delaware has been uh, advised that he has full authority uh, to, to make those kind of uh, referrals that you're talking about or to bring cases in other jurisdictions if he feels it's necessary. And I will assure that if he does, uh, he will be able to do that. Uh, I have promised to ensure that he's able to carry out uh, his investigation and that he be able to run it. And if he uh, uh, needs to bring it in another jurisdiction, he will have full authority to do that. Well, Weiss broke his silence on the matter late Friday night, sending a letter to the House Judiciary Committee claiming he can't speak about an active investigation and that he does have charging authority in the case, mostly. Anyway, his letter reads, a quote, my charge and authority is geographically limited to my home district. If venue for a case lies elsewhere, common departmental practice is to contact, contact the U.S. State's Attorney's Office for the district in question and determine whether it uh, wants to partner on the case. Now, for those following at home, that is lawyer speak for my hands were tied, but perhaps maybe not. All while the U.S. Attorney General maintains that he never put his thumb on the scale. All while the media turns a blind eye to a pretty startling reality that either the U.S. Attorney is fudging the truth or the Attorney General for the United States of America likely committed perjury. Instead, they continue to press the case against President Trump in the court of public opinion 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And while the economy is slumping, the border is overrun. But if they can't find a negative opinion about President Trump for their lead story, then the world will come tumbling down. Here's a listen. 
Is it plausible Trump was showing classified documents to people in private meetings? The short answer is yes. I watched him show uh, documents to people at Mar-a-Lago on the, at the dining room patio. So he has no respect for classified information, never did. Unbelievable. It's no wonder that CNN and MSDNC viewers are so uninformed about what's really going on with Biden at the helm.